Well, hopefully it's catching my face and not just my beard. Oh, Johnny Pink. It is, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful cold morning. It's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit out here. And it, I've got, today I'm using the R7. I've got the 500 millimeter F4 on here with the 1.4 telly. So all told, it's about 1100 millimeters that I'm shooting at. And I'm enjoying it. Let's get some more hummingbirds. So in my last video, I was talking about the eye autofocus tracking with the Z9. It's good, but the R7 is substantially better. I know I'm going to get a lot of crap for saying that. They're both amazing, fantastic cameras, but uh, just watching the people walking by on the trail. All right, I'm going to go see if I can't catch that hummingbird that's over here now. There's a turkey vulture up in the tree over there, and there's a hummingbird over there, and there's another turkey vulture over there. I really don't know what these photos are going to look like, and I won't know. You will have already seen them, of course. But one thing about the EVF with the R7, I, it's just, it's not a great one. None of them are really great, so I try, as I've said before, I try never to gauge my photos based on that other than how bright they are. Make sure I don't have any blown out highlights. I'd rather underexpose and pull out the shadows. And you can do that with all these modern cameras. It's fantastic. As long as you get a good exposure, you should be able to pull a lot of things out of your, in your raw files. All that information's there. Unlike shooting with just JPEG only, yeah, they look good coming out of camera, but all that color and everything is already cooked into it and you can't really change it much. So, anyway, that's one of the advantages.
I was really hoping for this area here, this is where the vermilion flycatchers are, and I was really hoping that they would be out here. That's why I'm shooting at 1120 millimeters today is because I, I wanted a super close, tight shot. Didn't work out that way. We're not seeing them out here at all, but it's still been an absolutely amazing, amazing day. One thing wildlife photography you really want is a lot more reach. That's not just an opinion. Most want more reach, but with a larger sensor and a sharper image, you can crop in farther and still get a great photo. I have no problem cropping in. I like it. It works well for me. Shooting at 1120 millimeters is tough just to find the subject. So the longer you go, the harder it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's pulled in closer, but sometimes it's hard to find it. The other thing is shooting on a, on a tripod or with a gimbal when you have these big heavy lenses is also tough because you don't have the freedom of hand holding and quickly going after something. You have to set it down, set it up, get it loosened up. There's trade-offs and advantages to everything. For me, the reason I was trying a, tri uh, a monopod to replace my old monopod is it's just easier for video. My video becomes more stable. Well, I've showed you everything I have for today. It's kind of quiet now and it's getting really, really, really hot. Extremes as far as temperatures go all the way from almost, uh, what was it, 36 degrees this morning, almost zero degrees Celsius. It's about 70 degrees out here now. It's hot, crazy. Johnny Pink, you guys have a fantastic day out there. Whatever it is you're going to do, thank you so very much for letting me share with you guys. I do appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And one thing I always forget to say is please give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't. If you have questions, again, I love answering questions. I, I take my time to get to them, and I sit there for a couple of hours, and I go through them. I try and do it every other day, every three days. And I schedule things that go up, and then I forget that they went up, and I look and go, oh, man, I have a whole bunch of things to answer. So <laughs> I appreciate it like I can't tell you. You guys have a fantastic day out there. Johnny Pink, I'll see you guys.